The Father says, I am bringing you to rest in the threshing floors of my purpose. This is a day that the plowman overtakes the reaper, says the Father. The outcome of this process will be a reflection of what you've sown and what you have watered in your life, so repent quickly. I am authorizing you to call where necessary for a failed harvest, says the Father. The failed harvest of bitter planting of days past. Come before me in honesty. Come before me in sincerity, without excuses, without rationalizations as to why you did what you did or whose fault it is. I'm not the prosecutor, says the Father. I am your advocate, and I am willing to bring you to an outcome of mercy and grace and blessing. I said, I am willing to bring you to an outcome of mercy and grace and blessing. I inhabit the high and lofty place with that one who is of a humble and a contrite spirit. Choose this day to be that one. Go low, says the Father. Go low in worship. For as you ascend in worship, so you shall descend in warfare. And the enemy in your life will be routed. Fear not the day or the th things you see coming upon the earth. The prattling and rage of the ungodly will not stand. So do not be distracted into their world or into their view, says the Lord. Purpose this month that you will be a kingdom seeker like never before. As you seek the kingdom, I will add to you. And I will add to you. And I will add to you beyond all that you are capable of asking for or thinking. This is not a time of mourning, but a time of thankfulness and rest. Rest in my care for you and relinquish the grasping spirit of doubt and fear, for I am your Papa God and you are my child. Trust, rest, and know. Trust, rest, and know, for I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. I will never take my hand off of you in any way. Trust me, says the Father, and together we will walk through the challenges that seem impossible to others and see destiny fulfilled and kingdom come in a measure that you have only dreamed of, says your God.